Good morning, Ridge. I'm Lily. Bad morning, Ridge. I'm Captain. And hopefully your morning gets better after we recap last week's sports, introduce you to the Lady Jacks, and find out more about the person that tells you to get back to class. Yeah, so here's a video on that. Wait, what? Huh? We all know those AWOL kids, which is why we sent out our investigative reporters to find out what's more interesting than classes. Hey you! Get to class! <laughs> Hi, my name is Josh Brown, and today we're going to be going around school trying to figure out <laughs> why kids are skipping class. Let's do it. Excuse me. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Where, where are you supposed to be right now? <laughs> hey, Josh. I, I am Josh. Yeah, I am Josh. But like, where are you? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Here. Hey, well, what is this? An interrogation? Are you, do you have a warrant? Are you the police? Uh, uh, do you have a warrant? <laughs> not the police. I just want to know, do like. Have, do you have a reason to be investigating me? Like, I just, I just want to know where your pass is. Like, I just need to know, why are you investigating me like this? What are you doing? Going to interview for kids that are actually AWOL. So we don't like that you're out here right now. Maybe you should get to where you're supposed to be. So maybe you should mind your business. Say it again. Mind your business. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Huh? Hey, excuse me. What are you doing out here? Um, like, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. I mean, you know, class just, bell just rang. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. Why you got a class? I'm just just I mean, walking around having fun, you know. What, just you don't like the class? Oh, <laughs> and oh, no. No, no, no. Here it is, live, live in your, or live in your school. <laughs> <laughs> this school has a new hall monitor, Coach Pollock. So all these AWOL kids, they need to watch out. You get back to class. Hi, I'm Sina. Have you ever been stopped by a hall monitor? Well, today I interviewed Mr. Pollock, and this is what he has to say. I walk the halls and make sure we're in class where we're supposed to be getting educated and not hanging out in the stairwells or walking randomly around because we don't want to be in class. I coach football and track. I coach the DBs in football and I'm the JV defensive coordinator. And then track, I coach high jump and relays and all the sprints. So a lot of my athletes I've known track-wise or football for years and never got to really see the other side of it with them. So it's kind of enjoyable for me to see the other side of some of my athletes. 
probably had a young man a while back that thought he could run from me and didn't understand that I could cut him off through a different hallway. So he thought he had ditched me around a corner and then I popped up ahead of him and he was not expecting me there. <laughs> he clearly was smoking in the bathroom and tried to tell me he wasn't. So I asked him, is he hanging out with his dragon back there? <laughs> Trying to clear the atrium is probably the hardest part between classes. Go to class, Cam. What you doing, Coach? I have no idea. Go to class. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. Uh -huh. Where do you miss a gap tomorrow, or Thursday? Where do you miss a gap on Thursday? They got threats on camera too? Uh-huh. That's what we know, we threaten? Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> we'll make sure they get all this on live footage. Because <laughs> obviously they do hey, now. There's always time for more opportunities for camp. Coach, yeah, baby. We all know this school has a lot of rules and policies. Imagine what it would be like to go to a school where everything is perfect. Like a utopia. No, nah, bro, I ain't get it. What class is this? It's an Andrew Tate's class, bro. How to not be a brokey. Were we just learning about fractions? What are those? No. Any of you have questions? No. You want to be broke when you grow up? No. You? No. You? No. Didn't think so. Breathe air. You don't need a vape. You ever vape? No. I do not. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, go ahead, dude. It doesn't matter. Question. No. I know you got a question. I ain't got no question. Uh -huh. Oh, we got Wi-Fi now? Today was a good day to come to school. I'm hungry though. Uh, let's see. Let's get some Doritos. Okay. A, nine. Whoa, I don't have to pay? Son of a The world's obsessed with social media, and the new obsession is be real. Let's see what would happen if the consequences of be real was a little bit more serious. Oh God.
you said the last person you ever tried yet, right? Yeah. Crap, wait two seconds. Guys, guys, so I'm and I just haven't. Do you know why? Because I forget. Okay, we'll work on it next week. Nutrition fun? No. What? Whatever. Is are you guys ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear the trivia question? Yes. Now you cannot tell me. You will not win. What is the name of the lake behind the high school? Find me in the hallways, give me the answer. Question. What? What do you mean it's live? Shake Rag Park, which is in, for, uh, which is in Fulton County. Okay. And I was doing a little fishing. I'm from South Alabama, if you're ever out in the woods and you hear loud screaming, like children screaming, crying that, that, you know, rabbit, cats, or panthers. And I'm like, panthers? And he's like, yeah. And I hear the, the screaming, yeah, you know, loud, babies crying. I was like, what, what's going on? I look up in the woods, see an enormous black panther fighting with a huge bobcat. So I see them. But then they see me. Both of them start to, to run at me. I tripped over a root in the woods and, and fell and busted my knee. Here comes the bobcat. He's ready to jump on top of me. The only thing I have is my fishing pole. I turn a swat. I hit it on the head and my fishing pole is sad as person. Fishing pole broke in half. Oh, I did not go home. I went right back in there where them cats were. The lumberjacks have been a staple in Ridge's student section for a very long time. But this year, they got some new members. The Lady Jills. The Lumber Jills. The Lady Jackets. Oh. Lady Jackets. Flapjacks. Flapjacks. The Lady Jacks. Oh, yeah. Let's see what they're all about. As the football season kicks off with Ridge 2-0, it's easy to see the changes on the field. But have you noticed the change in the stands? The hype of the games has been unreal as the Lady Jacks joined the Lumberjacks to lead our student section. When I asked the Lady Jacks why they created these new roles, they all gave a similar answer. I don't know, I just feel like it's been led by males, so just another way for us to be incorporated. I always wanted to be a Lumberjack. I think it's very fun to get the crowd hyped up and it shows a lot of school spirit. But I realized that like year after year, it's always guys getting picked. Um, it's always been guys every single year, and girls have tried to do it, but no one's really accepted it. We made Lady Jacks because we've always known that there's been Lumberjacks, and we wanted there to be a girl part in it. So we thought that if we got some girls in there, we would get some more people to show up to the game, which evidently it worked, because the first game against second year was packed. Now that you know the why, you might be wondering how to join. So the Lady Jacks and the Lumberjacks are all inclusive. So yes, girls can be Lumberjacks and boys can be Lady Jacks. Guys are Lumberjacks and girls are Lady Jacks. Um, so we're going to pass it down because we do want it to keep going. So I hope that you guys can keep carrying on the new tradition, just like the Lumberjacks and keep the school spirit high. Definitely have spirit and um, show up to every game. Try to tell the juniors to come, try to do carpool. This year, I'm the head girl, so I plan on looking forward to picking a junior, um, which will be releasing the last game of the football year. I think it's 56 to zero. 60 to zero. 60 to zero. 60 to zero. 60 to zero. Is when you kick the ball if you haven't got to a certain down. A punt is a kick. And they kick the ball through the... Um, should I guess? Sure. When they throw a ball. A punt is when you drop the ball, kick it. Who? <laughs> <laughs> um, John? Really? Either 
John Dutton or like Tayo. Ladavius, number four. No? <laughs> Wait, tell me the answer. Sorry. Um, I forget his name. I know who it is, but I don't know his name. It wasn't Jordan. No. Number one. Miles, I think. A running back runs the ball depending on the play. They might slide it under or run sideways. A running back gets past the ball and runs for the touchdown. Run zone. <laughs> I don't know. I think they just like run back. Mm, they run to the back. They run back. A what? What? Is there like answer options? <laughs> No. Guys, you can't make me look bad. I play flag football. I don't know, the score. A score. <laughs> no idea. All right, I'm just gonna go with field goal. I think I'm wrong. This one's easy. You are the rush end on the side of the field and coach calls 44 rush to make for his own show break and it's 35 plus minutes. Wait, read that back. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Um. Run. You keep running. Just go. Okay. It's third and five. You run to the end zone. You take that ball and you throw it on the ground and you go. How's your playing football here, Joey? The Apple Jacks will certainly be in attendance this Friday when we host Winderboro. Let's get to Brody for more on sports. Good morning, Ridge. I'm Brody Schroeder, here to give you this week's sports recap. On Friday night, our varsity football team plays Winderboro at home at 7.30. The theme is fire ice, so show up in theme to support. Last night, our varsity volleyball team won two in a five-set game with an amazing 2-0 comeback. Tomorrow night at 6, our varsity softball team plays Duluth away, so come and support. That's all the sports news I have for you this week. I'm Brody Schroeder. Go Lions. Crazy. Well, that's all we have for you today. Have a great day, Ridge, and go Lions!